Hey everyone, welcome back to another Godzilla Battling video, and today we're taking a look at the new and improved Burning Godzilla. As a quick refresher, Burning Godzilla in August of 2022 has received a buff that increases the range of his explosion. Prior to this, his explosion was very, very small, regardless of the, you know, tier it's at, charge 1, 2, 3, or 4. Now, it's just like a massive, massive explosion. On the screen is two pieces of footage captured by Lanavix uh, and sent to me over Discord. And this is two pieces of footage of him using a full meter. So the left side is against units just to showcase its range. And on the right side is to showcase against a leader. Now this is both a fixed battle. So you can see in the leader side, he's about a half or not half, but like quarter health. This Kiryu with one explosion, right? Wild. Do I think this is going to bring Burning Godzilla into the meta? I don't think this is going to make him meta, although I will say... He is in a much, much better spot than he was before. Burning Godzilla, I would feel comfortable telling people now to run, right? Very solid, very, very solid unit. Um, I like him a lot. For five costs, he's pretty good. You have to consider though, for five costs, there's a lot of other characters on the field that I think might help your team out a little bit more. Mothra Leo this season, Batra is five costs, Ultraman is five costs, Super X is five costs. The destroy a flying form is five costs, and that one's a pain to evolve. So you don't really want to stack your deck up with five costs. I mean, my deck in ranked right now is majority five costs, but uh, I have a fast cycle deck. I can get them on the field pretty quickly. If you could do that with Burning Godzilla, go nuts, right? I really like them. I had Burning Godzilla in mid B tier on my latest tier list, but this season I would feel comfortable saying he's probably probably in the higher portion of B, not the highest, but definitely not mid anymore. You have to remember, he has not received an HP boost this season, a damage boost this season, so everything that he's doing damage-wise, health-wise, is how it's been for months. The only thing that's changed is the explosion radius, but we can already see how, how much better it is. You can clear out such a larger path with the explosion now than you ever could before. However, it is just as difficult to build up that meter now as it has been. The meter hasn't gotten any easier. But now I think the reward, I think the juice is worth the squeeze now, right? Instead of a puny explosion for all of that work, you could put in a lot of work and get off a massive explosion, kill some things. It's crazy. I've had several times in the arena in the last few days, my huge pushes just get absolutely crushed by a burning Godzilla, not even at a full meter, you know, at like a meter and a half it's just because the explosion range is so big now that the damage coverage is so much better and that's what you want even if they don't increase his damage at all ever the fact that he can detonate the way he doesn't cover such a large portion of the land is crazy you can see on the right side of the screen right now when he's attacking the leader he covers like 50 percent at max meter like 50 percent of the enemy's territory over here on tokyo take a look at this boom Look at that, huge. Like there's two spots in the back where your enemies aren't gonna get hit and two spots by the bridges where your enemies probably aren't gonna get hit. But to get that much coverage is crazy, especially maybe at the end of a match. You know, you play Burning Godzilla in the final few pushes when your leaders start getting close, they're, it's gonna be an unavoidable explosion, right? This is not a video recommending what decks to use for Burning Godzilla. I think for five costs, you pretty much throw them in any deck, especially one with fast cycles. I'm digging him. I'm liking him a lot. And something that I wanted to touch on as well is I think that I think that this makes G54 a lot more valuable because to get this size explosion with this kind of damage for three cost is cracked. It is cracked. I will stand by that Kiryu and Burning Godzilla have always been the best two options to get out of a G54 pull. Right, get right when he dies and you get your units. Man, Burning Godzilla value shot up in those regards. This explosion is crazy. The damage is really solid. It always has been solid. It's just been impossible to hit anything with it. Now you're pretty much guaranteeing you hit your targets or whatever at least killed your Burning Godzilla. I like it a lot. This change is a really good change. I know that like we're spending a lot of time dunking on Destroyer this season, uh, but I just wanted to highlight that this change in particular is a very solid change. I'm a big, big fan. And it's, you know, moving a unit that was near unusable in a very positive direction and giving them 
their time to shine and more viability in the meta while not being meta themselves which is always something that we want right we don't want to have to be stacking the decks with meta units we want off meta units as well you know to pad it out and and theory craft and make better strategies i definitely think burning godzilla is going to be very good for countering the current meta but i don't think that makes him meta and i think he's only good for countering it because a lot of people are still sending uh you know fire rodans and batras together or batras and mothra leos and stuff like that so we're always seeing not a big push but like a grouping and lots of pairings with batra and another character and for burning godzilla to be able to hit both of them after death that's really good that is really 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 good so i'm liking burning godzilla a lot the changes i think is in the right direction i still would like to see his meter be decreased but at this point if his meter like the time to charge that meter was decreased he might just be broken i think he's in a very good spot where he is i'm comfortable saying that i don't think he really needs any more changes i would obviously love more buffs you know i can never can never get enough buffs to units but uh i really like where he's at right now uh i'm gonna throw him in my deck and continue using him and playing with him like i said the footage of this is not mine uh this is all from lane uh, i've been playing with him as well on my own but i think lane did a better job at getting uh footage than i did especially in fix like this so Shout out to him. That's all I got for you guys today. I just wanted to make a quick, you know, rant, spiel, whatever on Burning Godzilla. I really do dig the changes a lot. I don't think he's meta, but definitely a step in the right direction. Very, very, very powerful unit in the right hand. So make sure you're building up those meters. Listen, thank you all so much for watching this video. I will catch you all in the next one. Bye-bye.